What's up everybody, Maxwell here, fellow multi-op owner and part of the Vibo team. And today I'm showing you the biggest update we have ever launched in Vibo. I'm talking full control over your brand, smoother workflows, and some features you didn't even know you needed. This is Vibo Pro. Let me show you what's new. All right, let's kick it off with the first update. And this is a big one for your brand presence, branding colors. You can now customize the entire look of your client facing app to match your brand. App colors, headlines, highlight accents, it all feels like you. You can set a new default color for your entire account, change the color of each event individually, and customize the color of every headline in that timeline. Let me show you. To start, let's change the color of the account. I'm gonna go right up top to my account and come down to the new branding section and choose DJ brand color. This preview is awesome. It's gonna show you what your color looks like on light mode, dark mode, on the dashboard, and on the app. So I'm gonna come in here and hit change color. You have a bunch of different options from the slider to you can also use a hex code color if you know your, your brand's color there. And I'm just gonna use a nice deep red for today. Once I'm done, I'll hit save. And as you can see, the whole dashboard background and all the buttons change to the brand color. If I refresh the app, same exact thing. Now, what I can also do is change the color of the event specifically. So if I come over to templates and choose the one that I like to change, we now have this new section under branding where you have a template color. So if you want your account color, your brand color, to be different than a template, maybe it's a corporate event or private event template, you can have them be different. So same thing, you just come in here, change the color and hit save. Now, you also have some more security switchers down here for your clients on how much you'd like them to be able to affect or change, totally up to you either way. Now, as I come to my actual live events, the color change does not affect any event that's already been created. We don't wanna change everything across the board without you knowing about it. So I'll come into this event, and as you can see, it's still the stock blue. And if I come into the app, same deal. So what I'm gonna come down to do is the branding section and choose event color, just like in templates. I'm gonna come into change color, slide that slider over to a nice deep red, and hit save. This one takes a little bit longer because it's gonna change the color on the already active event with a bunch of details in there. And then if I refresh the screen on the app, there it is. You now have your branding colors across the whole thing. Now there's one extra tidbit that is awesome too, and that is the headline colors. If I come in here where it says get started as a headline, I now can change that color too. If I come into settings, I can now change that color to anything that I want to better color coordinate my sections. I'm gonna come down and hit done. And as you can see that headline, as well as that highlight color of the sections below are all color coordinated to the one that I want. Now I'm gonna come back into timeline and music and there you go, get started and everything underneath is that right color. So once you've got your colors dialed in, let's take it one step further and bring in some visuals. Cover photos for your sections and headlines. Instead of plain text, drop in some photos of your setup, some past events, or anything that visually shows off your style. It turns every planning section into a visual experience, looks clean, and feels premium. Let's take a look. So once you're inside of an event or a template, navigate to the timeline of music. Jump right down to your first headline and hit those three dots. Go to headline settings, and then right under the color change, you'll see add section cover. Go ahead and click that to add a photo from your computer. And once you do, just make sure that it's filled up nicely. And once I hit save and done, this is gonna show up in the timeline on the app. So right underneath me, if I scroll down, that photo is now gonna give the clients a visual guide. Just imagine how beautiful your template's gonna look with everything having visual guides. Oh, branding opportunities, put photos from previous events in there. Mm, just so good. Now, the second piece is adding a cover photo to the actual section itself. Now, what I mean by that is come down to additional services, let's say. This is previously how we used to be able to add photos and you still can. You can add a photo to a question, a description or anything like that. Now. Visually on the app, I'm gonna come down to additional services and it's almost at the top, but it's not quite perfect. So what you can do now is on the dashboard, hit those three dots, go to section settings and same deal, add that section cover. 
I'm gonna choose a different graphic for this section. Fill it up nice and big again. And once I hit done, the visual difference really comes clean on the app. So right down below, I'm just gonna go back to the timeline to quickly refresh everything. Once I jump back into additional services, look at that difference. Oh my God, it's so clean. So that way you don't have to use that photo down in a description. It's just nice, clean, right at the top, right as a visual lead right into that section. Oh, so clean. All right, visuals locked. Now let's talk about something that runs in the background but makes a huge impact, notifications and alerts. You can now send your clients custom push notifications right to their phone. You need them to confirm a timeline, pick a song, or schedule a planning meeting, send them a reminder right to their phone. And the flip side of that, now you get real-time alerts when your clients update anything important. They pick an upgrade or just lock in a detail, boom, now you know about it. Check it out on the dashboard. Now I'm back in the event. You can do this in templates to set up too, but I'm gonna go to the Home tab. Once I'm here, I'll go right over to Event Notifications. In this screen, you've got some default options that are still here, but now you have up to 30 custom push notifications you can send directly to your clients, all without handling a thing. Now, obviously I've been testing this a little bit, but let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna hit add notification. And as the bold title, I'm gonna do schedule your planning Ooh, meeting. And underneath, I've got a little description. And if I come down, now we can schedule send. We can decide how many days, hours, weeks, or months before the event, after the event. And I can also do the timing around the lockout date too for specific notifications. So if you wanna say you have seven days left to make changes before the app locks out, you can do it off of the lockout date to make it a tiny bit easier. Now, you can also decide who these are sending to. You can send it to yourself, yourself and the hosts, hosts and guests, or a mix of the three. So the benefit here is kind of limitless. All of this goes directly to their phone as a push notification. So you're skipping the inbox and you can schedule send it. So you don't even have to do this by hand, although you can if you want to. So if I hit save and come down to the bottom, once you have some notifications prepped and ready, you can then hit send now. So if there's something that came up or you need to send them a reminder specifically for one client, you can quickly create a notification and send it right away. Now, the one extra benefit to these notification upgrades is the answers to those just super important questions that we really need. One of those for an example is upsells. So I'm gonna come down and go to our additional services section again. And down on this question, where they can select which additional service they're interested in, you can come down and hit notify me about the answer. So once that is turned on, once the client, the host, comes in and selects an option, I will immediately get a push notification that says, this couple answered this question, which will allow me to jump right in, contact them and close that upsell, making almost every package that much more valuable. And this can be on other questions and other details too. So as you can imagine, there's a ridiculous amount of ways to use this piece of communication. And I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. So you're communicating better and getting updates in real time. What's next? Guiding your clients to take action. So let's talk about buttons. Customizable buttons are here and they are fire. Add a button to a question type and link it anywhere. Payments, Google reviews, meeting schedulers, whatever you need. Clean, tappable buttons on their phone that will take your client's flow through the app to that next level. Watch how clean this is. Make your way to Timeline and Music. Find an important section. I'm gonna use Package and Payments for an example. And this is kind of how links used to look. And inside the app, I'm gonna come right on down. And here's what that link looks like. But that's not quite clean enough. So what you can do now is edit question and you can now create a button and link it anywhere. So check this out. I'm just gonna take that same link I had previously. Not the whole thing. There we go. Create button. We gotta give the button a name or a title. So I'm gonna say make a payment. Paste that link in there. 
hit create button and save. And now back onto the app, if we look down underneath, refresh, boom, make a payment button. I'm gonna tap on it. It's gonna load whatever that page is right in the app, right in the little tiny browser. They can handle everything that they need to and they can hit done and go right back to planning. So payments, reviews, so many options out there and you can take a button, add it anywhere and link it anywhere. Speaking of actions, one of the most practical new updates is how your clients give you vendor info. No more messy text fields. We've now got a structured contact question type. Instead of your clients dumping a bunch of information in one single text field, your clients can now give you organized, structured contacts. I'm talking names, emails, phone numbers, websites, social media handles, all of it. Neat and organized. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna move down to vendor information. And normally, this question type works well with just a, a text field. And on the app, if I come down to vendor information, go to venue contact, the text box has done well for a long time, but now we're gonna keep you organized. I'm gonna come over and hit edit question on the dashboard, scroll down my question types, and now I have contact answer. So people can put names, social media handles, phone, email, websites, everything to make sure we have all the contact information in one place. Once I hit save changes, it's gonna show up just like a button. And if I go back on the app, refresh that timeline, jump back into vendor information and hit venue contact. Look at that button, add contact. I can import directly from my phone contacts as a client to make it super easy, or I can just enter a new one by hand. I can also add it in on the dashboard. I can come over and hit add contact, add in the name, social media, you've got the phone, email, or URL, and you can add another field to make sure that you can add all of the information that you need. And it's always organized. Always. Oh, so clean. Let's layer in another way to take your planning flow to the next level. This one's personal. You can now link videos from Loom or Vimeo right to any question type. Add a personal welcome video using Loom for quick and easy uploads or a service walkthrough using Vimeo instead of YouTube. That way your clients don't get suggested videos that aren't you or your brand. And the best part is it plays right in the app. No extra taps. Look at this. For the videos, I'm going to go to Let's Get Started tab here, our very first section. We're going to go over two questions and add a description, and I'm just going to type welcome. Under that, we have the embedded video button. Now, I know previously we had YouTube. Now we have Vimeo, of course, more professional, less suggestions. And we have Loom, which is so, 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 so convenient. So I'm gonna come up and go into Vimeo. Just uploaded a quick video. I'm gonna grab that link, copy. Go back to the app and paste it right in and hit add video. And boom. Now if I go into the app, I'm gonna go right into let's get started tap here. And right there, we've got a little bit more of a professional video player, but could be the same content you had already created. Now here's the update, which is an awesome, awesome customization that you can add. So I'm gonna go right back into here and get rid of this video and add another one. But instead of Vimeo, I'm gonna use Loom. Now Loom is of course a screen recording platform, but it also makes the process of uploading a selfie video so easy. I literally just did this on my phone about 30 seconds ago and it uploaded immediately. I can come right down here and I can copy that link go right back to the app and paste it. And as soon as I do, I'm gonna hit save changes. And then on the app, if I refresh, that video will pop right up. Now, it doesn't show a preview image right now just because I literally just recorded the video. So it will come through. Now, it makes a personal welcome message so easy. So. Hey client or hey Thomas and Gina, I'm so excited to work with you guys. And to give you an example, I can play it right on the app to show you what that looks like. And there we are. So excited to work with you. All the good stuff. They can feel amazing. And then hit close and they're done. And they can jump right back to planning. It makes just every piece of communication that much more personal 
in this very technology-oriented world. And last, but definitely not least, let's add a little fun. Vibo now supports GIFs as a media type for your questions. Use them to add movement or give your clients a little surprise while they plan. Here's how it looks. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I use GIFs almost every day in text, in Slack, in so many different channels because it's just fun and it gives so much energy. So I'm really excited that we can actually use GIFs now inside of sections on the planning app. I'm gonna go to the very last section, last song of the evening, add in another description, and I'm gonna say in all caps, you did it. I'm gonna come over and hit that GIF option. And honestly, that first one's pretty good. I love that. So we'll hit add. It's gonna show right up on the dashboard. And if I scroll all the way down on the app, come right down to that last section, boom, it's gonna show right up. So this just allows you to add a little flavor to your communication, add some comedy, add some smiles and make them laugh. It's a great addition to just keep the planning process entertaining, polished, and a good time. So that's the first wave of Vibo Pro features and it's only the beginning. Everything that we just dropped is about giving you more power, more polish, and a better experience for your clients. Play around with it and build out those templates. And if you wanna jam on some creative ways to use these new tools, come hang out at a Monday meetup or schedule a one-on-one -on -one with the team. Appreciate you watching, but more importantly, for being a part of the Vibo family. Go play with these new features, they're a blast. I'll see you soon. Peace.